Good morning again everybody. Welcome back to another Hair of the Dog video tutorial. We're going to do another leash removal this time. This time a little bit more challenging than before. You can see we have the collar and the leash. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to get rid of the gold on the collar. I think I'll probably get rid of that too. Um, we'll see how that goes. So let's get started. First I'm going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing down here. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the patch tool again. So I grab the patch tool. I'm just going to circle. Not all of it, just a big chunk here. And then, oops. Command Z if you accidentally let go too fast. Command Z takes you back um, one step. Let's find a spot where, here we go, but to find a spot where it kind of matches the lighting, you can, can't can just move right over to that spot right next to it because it just didn't really match very well. Command D, deselect so you can see what you're working with. All right, and then we're going to circle a little bit more up here, move over a little bit. Go right here. Now any little repetitive patterns that might come up will start to get rid of in a little bit. I'm going to circle this one. Maybe come right down this way. Command D. Oops. Command D. Deselect. Alright. See it's kind of looking a little bit wonky there. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to select all of this, kind of come over here to this part on their hip. You can see that the color looks pretty similar. The lighting looks pretty similar. And I think that looks a lot better. Let's get in close and check it out. Yeah. All right, so the next thing we need to get rid of is this little, this little piece up here. I'm going to go to the spot healing brush. We're going to see what this does. Sometimes it works, sometimes not so much. Hmm, that's not bad. We can work with that. I'm also going to get rid of this little spot right here while I have this tool out. All right, we're going to get smaller, get rid of this little tiny piece of brass right here. All right, so now we need to fix this little section right here. You can see there's a little black spot. It looks like there's a hole in the leash. Um, so the clone stamp, I think, is going to be the best bet there. So we're going to go clone stamp, make sure it's 100% opacity, 100% flow. I'm going to option and click to pull a sample. I'm just going to kind of move it right there. I'm also going to get rid of this little section back here, so I'm going to use a smaller clone stamp to get rid of this little extra piece of red that's kind of sticking out. These Greyhound collars can be a challenge, um, especially when you're taking a picture and the leash is taut and going out of the side of the frame because the Greyhound collar, you know, tightens around their neck and then there's a big section of the collar sticking out, especially one that's this thick. Um, it can be a challenge to work with on occasion. All right, looking pretty good. There's a couple little pieces down here I want to clean up. Um, so I'm going to go back to the spot healing brush and just clean those up real fast. Now let's zoom out and see what it's looking like. You can see we're a little uneven right here on this collar. So I'm going to zoom back in and try to fix that a little bit more. Again, I'm going to go back to the clone tool. I'm going to get a little bit of a bigger brush so you don't see too many patterns. Option to select. Then you can see even with that bigger brush there is some little patterning going on here. You can see there's three little kind of light, lighter red dots. don't really like the look of that. So we're going to go back to the spot healing brush and just clean that up. Now the spot handling brush, when you use that, you don't want 
You want the brush to be as small as possible to just cover up whatever it is you want to clone out. You don't want to have a whole bunch of extra pixels selected that you don't need to have selected. All right, I'm gonna also build this leash out a little bit more here. What I'm gonna do for that is actually use the patch tool again. So I kind of want this, oops, let's try that again. I need to fill in this section here of the collar. So we're going to select it, pull it down a little bit. Deselect. Yeah. All right. I think we are all set. This was a little bit more complicated than that last tutorial we did with Elliot in front of the gray seamless backdrop um, because, you know, obviously you're working with more, uh, more intricate backgrounds and you can see the leash was in front of the dog's shoulder instead of just straight out of the side of the frame. Um, we also had to deal with that that big brass um, D-ring that was on the lead or I'm sorry we had to deal with that big brass D-ring that was on the collar. We could have left it in but I thought that one might have been a little bit distracting and I really want the focus on his beautiful face. So thanks for joining us for another Hair of the Dog video tutorial.